This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Former Kentucky Wildcat Kendra Harrison on the track again tonight out at Eugene, Oregon. She needed to finish in the top two of her semifinal heat in the 100 meter hurdles to automatically qualify for the final. Kendra in lane four, ready to go. Loosen up the arms. The gun goes off and they're out and running in the rain. She had an undefeated record in 2016 coming into this race. She was 7-0 and and despite the wet condition, she qualifies for the final, but look, she doesn't win it. She finishes second next to Queen Harrison. First time anyone has beat Kendra all season long. Nonetheless, she makes it to the finals with a time of 12.91 seconds. Let's go to the final heat. Dig in and let's go. Got to finish in the top three to make the U.S. Olympic team and go to Rio. Kendra in lane two. She's not even close. Brianna Rollins wins it with a time of 12.34. Kristen Castlin and Nia Ali will join Rollins in Rio as they finish second and third. Kendra finishes sixth with a time of 12.62. Tough way to go out. Heavy rain washes out qualifying at Kentucky Speedway this morning. So NASCAR sets the field based on owner's points. That means Kevin Harvick will have the pole for tomorrow night's race. The weather stopped the drivers from getting Certainly the guys who, who win frequently and uh, are champions, they're, they're champions for a reason. They're good at what they do. They don't care if it's a new racetrack they've never seen or a place they've been going to for 20 years. I don't think it really matters uh, from, that, from that standpoint. So I don't think it makes, makes your job any easier or, or anything like that uh, just because nobody else has seen the place before, in my opinion. The NBA's Las Vegas Summer League tipped off tonight, and we start with the Denver Nuggets, who selected Jamal Murray seventh overall in this year's draft. Murray and the Nuggets taking on the, the Timberwolves. There's Murray. We pick it up third quarter. Murray, uh, how's your three ball in Summer League, bruh? It's real good from the corner. Nuggets down by six. Next possession, Murray, he's really good at creating, as you see right there, hits the tough floater, and then one more in the third quarter for Murray. He was wooing the crowd with this one. The reverse sky straight up and straight back down. Murray finishes with 12 points and five rebounds and the Nuggets win 88 to 82. Grizzlies take it on the D League select team. Second half, Andrew Harrison was balling. That's a three ball falling down. Then later, Andrew Strong to the rack. That's good, and he's not done. Under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter, Harrison showing off the ball handling skills, and oh yeah, going to the rack again. He goes for a game high 23 points tonight. He also had four rebounds and four assists. Grizz win 99 to 79. Oh, the Raptors taking on the Sacramento Kings. Kings out and running late in the first quarter. Scalabissier, he says, I got range. I'm seven foot, but I can light it up. 28th overall pick, docking down the three ball there, showing he's got range. The game's still going on over on NBA TV, and the Raptors, oh, they're killing the Kings right now. 45 to 23. Scal with five points, four rebounds. Willie Colley Stein with three points and two rebounds. One last game to get to out in Las Vegas. The Cavs taking on the Bucks. Pick it up fourth quarter, loose ball. DeAndre Liggins, the former Kentucky Wildcat. How's your three ball? It's, it's okay. It's the only bucket he had of the game as we go to the score where Milwaukee wins 81 to 75. Lincoln's, Liggins had three points to go with his seven rebounds. Final day out at the Orlando Summer League as well. Former Kentucky Wildcat Marcus Teague on the floor with the Dallas Mavericks. Let's go down to Orlando. Dallas taking on the Charlotte Hornets. Fourth quarter, Teague step back right in your face. A little later, Teague again using the cross up, long jumper, pulling it up, knocking it down. He finishes with 11 points, and the Mavs win by 5, 97, 92. Aaron Harrison, by the way, did not play for the Hornets. That was a coach's decision. Alonzo Morning checking out some summer league down in Orlando. The Heat and the Thunder getting together. And former Murray State racer Cameron Payne putting the game away for OKC. Nice floater there, and then, yeah, he's, he's got the stop and pop game, too. Uh, he goes for 15 points today, and the Thunder win 86 to 72. Dakari Johnson finishes with eight points, his only game in the Orlando Summer League where he actually did not score in double figures. One last thing to get to down in Orlando. Alex Pointers did not score any points for the Orlando Magic Blue Squad as they lost to the Pacers 85 to 79. A baseball note before we go. Former Batcat Zach Strecker signed a minor league contract with the Minnesota Twins earlier today. The righty was assigned to the Gulf Coast League in late June and has made four appearances so far at UK. Strecker posted a solid 1.84 ERA. 
Also, Kentucky extends athletic director Mitch Barnhart's contract tonight to 2022. That's sports, and we will be back.